Hey there guys, so today I'm going to review Trippy Red's new album Trip at Night, came out last week and it was a good album, I thought it was a very good album from Trippy, I'm not like the hugest Trippy Red fan, it was a very experimental album I thought as well. It was a very experimental album, he experimented a lot with beats, very different beats compared to normal beats on like a hip hop album, it sounded very much like a gaming vibe and I kind of felt like as you went through the album, it's kind of like a gaming sort of experience. So like next level sort of stuff. I, I enjoyed that part of the album, especially the first half of the album. He experiments a lot with his voice as well, so he uses different tones, pitches and the, throughout the whole album really trippy does. It's also kind of a new sound he's kind of invented, I think. This might be a new sound for a lot of new people or artists coming up. Some of the songs I enjoyed in the album were, or some of the standouts that I thought, for me, just in, just personally for me, was uh, Finish Line, I really enjoyed that song. The one with Ski Master Slump God, Demon Time, enjoyed that darker sort of vibe. Supernatural as well, that was a great one. Nice beat change in that, really enjoyed that. And um, also the intro, I enjoyed Molly Hearts. But overall, the first two thirds of the album, I really enjoyed. And it was just a great experience from one to, I'd say, around about 12. Even New Money, that was a great tune I enjoyed. All the features on the album as well, they kind of made sense and they're kind of big name features and they all delivered in my opinion. You had features like X, you had Juice World, you had Drake, you had Playboy Carti obviously on the big single that came out before Mr. Rage. Love that tune by the way. Another thing that I enjoyed about the album is the track list. The track list wasn't too long, so in comparison to the last album Trippy Drop, which was Pegasus, I think it had 26 tunes on it, which just for me, this is just personally me, it was just a bit too long. It's not really something I would sit and listen to the whole way through just because it's so long, but he's cut it down for this one to only 18 tracks, which I like a lot better. The first two thirds of the album I really enjoyed, but the last third of the album, from like the last part, I'd say the last five or six songs really, I didn't really enjoy. It kind of felt like I was listening to the same song like in the last, so like the first half they had some standout ones. None of really the last few tracks really stood out. The Polo G and the Little Dark tune was good, I enjoyed that. Uh, New Money was good, the X tune was half decent but some of the other ones I just didn't really enjoy. It kind of felt I was listening to the same sort of tune over and over again on the same beat but just different lyrics and kind of similar lyrics as well. Some of them I think could have been cut off, so I think Space Time for me could have been cut. Um, what else? You've got Backy, that could have been cut for me. And also Vibes, I didn't really think I did as well. I just didn't enjoy really hearing the same thing over and over again, but that's just my opinion and some people might enjoy this sort of music and they, they probably will, it's just not my sort of style. I'm not really into like the heavy rage sort of music, I'm more like enjoy the melodic sort of trippy red but I can enjoy and appreciate this album as well. One last gripe I do have about the album though is the last two tunes, Captain Crunch and Rich with uh, Little Dark and Polo G, it's they kind of felt a bit out of place. Overall the full album feels like a gaming sort of vibe, very gaming heavy, Nintendo, Atari sort of vibe and then you've kind of got this like sort of really darkish, like really really dark like uh, ending track, it just didn't really fit in and I know that uh, the Demon Time track with Ski is kind of dark as well but it kind of fat, it fat in, it kind of fitted in with like the whole track list because it still gave me gaming vibes whereas the last two tracks didn't really give me that sort of vibe that the whole, the whole other like rest of the project has but that's just me and maybe I'm just being a bit nitpicky with the album there are lots of aspects of this album that I really enjoyed and there's only a few real issues that I have with the album but overall it's a great experience, it's a really fun, enjoyable album to listen to it's more of a chill vibe, it's not like too deep sometimes he goes a bit deep in like New Money, he also goes into deep quite a few tunes as well but uh, overall I, I think it's a good album and I really enjoyed it and it's one of Trippy Red's best projects in my opinion and I think it's better than Pegasus as well but that's just my opinion guys, thanks for watching, really appreciate it, I'd love to hear your opinions on this project, do you think it was good, do you think it was bad, 
and I appreciate you if you're still watching. So thanks for watching. I want to try and do music content. I'm I really enjoy my music and maybe do more of these review vibes. But uh, just let me know what you thought of this in the comments. Like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, and yeah, I'm going to try and do. I'm, well, I'm not going to try. I'm going to do music content now, and uh, yeah. If there's anything you want me to listen to, or maybe just, just if you enjoy music, if you enjoy music and like reviews, sort of that, uh, yeah, it's going to be a music sort of channel, so yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoy music, and thanks for watching guys, cheers.